you all it's okay i love your question so please keep it coming i want to give more knowledge to the public you know to our community so that people make good decisions for their house okay so if you have any questions please feel free to whatsapp me or you know comment or uh, send me a, a message okay and inshallah i will try my best to reply okay so uh, another question for today is if now a uh, house is uh, have two owners mother and father Okay, but these two, when they got married, both of them was from the, uh, were from uh, divorce families. Okay, when they got married, each of them has their own children. So now one party pass away. Okay, what happens to the house? Okay, so if the house is under joint tenancy, two owners, this one have kids, this one have kids. If let's say now this person pass away, okay, then this person now left and he has kids. Okay, so she pass away. Uh, she has kids he he is still alive he has kids when this person pass away first he lo she loses all her rights to faraid okay because the sole ownership goes to this person so when this person pass away the faraid will be to his children or his waris okay so her side don't get okay so this is the latest faraid law uh, that when you buy a house under joint tenancy you automatically give the, this house as a gift to the remaining surviving party okay so because of that the the faraid okay will depend on the last surviving owner this is if you buy under joint tenancy if you don't want this that means you want uh, he share his kids to get your kids to get also regardless who pass away first or uh, pass away last then you must buy under tenancy in common all right i hope this helps all the best